a Walter Payton Man of the Year nominee for the Las Vegas Raiders finals for Defensive Player of the Year as well and host of the Rush podcast, Max Crosby. Welcome to your hometown Vegas, or at least where you play. <laughs> yeah, I appreciate it. Thanks yeah. for having me on. Thanks for being here. Tell us about the vibe of the city, how it feels different, maybe welcoming 58 to town. Um, it's been incredible. I know, you know, obviously we wish we were playing right now. Um, it sucks having the Chiefs and the Niners in our stadium. Uh, it's unfortunate, but I mean, it's more motivation. Um, seeing how the city's responded, it's like the airport's jam packed, everywhere you go is jam packed, but at the end of the day, um, it's been fun, you know, just being around everybody. We want to ask you how you're feeling, of course. Two surgeries, I'm, what do we got? Yeah, I'm good. I mean, the knee is doing a lot better. Been rehabbing for weeks now, and uh, same with the thumb. So it's just a process. I mean, I've had it before. I've had five surgeries in five years. I know Gronk has had a ton of surgeries. It's just, you know, you're going to the off season, you got to get fixed up. And then, you know, the road is a little bit different, you know, with the rehab, the whole rehab deal. You but flexing right there. It out. Yeah, in the hospital. Yeah, in the hospital. So, you know, it's, it's part of the game. You know, it's, yeah. it's, it's all good. With all those tattoos now, um, Gronk and I don't have a single tattoo. Yeah. What would FanDuel have to pay you to get a FanDuel logo tattooed on you? Oh, man. <laughs> What's FanDuel the cost? Uh, like five million or less? Two million. If I said two million. And, and it's going to be permanently there forever? I mean, you can laser hair, laser, laser removal. Let's say you have to keep it for five years. For five years? For two so mil? I would say, nah, not two mil, man. A little, more than uh, two mil? You're more. so rich, Bronco. Oh, my God. You have to pay no for yeah, two ten million. Mil. Yeah. Ten yeah. million? Where would wow. I have to put you it as well? hide it, though. I don't yeah, I, I get to hide it as well. You're right. And how big? Yeah. How big is it gonna be? I'd be like, can I get free? Like it's gonna be small. Yeah, I'll take two million then. Like it's gonna be like right, like on my back, lower back, I'll yeah, always lower be in. Then. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. Max, you're going to be recognized <laughs> at NFL Honors as a Walter Payton Man of the Year because of your work that you do. You're very inspiring. What does that award and that nomination mean to you? Um, it means a lot. Um, you know, I've I live off of you know giving with, you know, no intent to receive. So, um, you know, it always comes back in the end. So for me, everything I do is, is genuine, it's from the heart. Um, and I want to give back, you know, I'm in this position um, and I've had to work for everything I've, you know, gotten in my life. So um, having the opportunity to be, um, you know, a leader, not only in my locker room, but on, you know, off the field as well, um, is something I take a lot of pride in. So, um, yeah, you know, it's incredible for sure. Uh, you obviously are up for finalists for Defensive Player of the Year. We'll see you at NFL Honors, hopefully. This season you had a career high in sacks with four, you had 14 and a half of those things. <laughs> Holy shit. 90 combined tackles, league best 23 tackles for loss, and you did this during an up and down season where you're dealing with injuries. What kept you motivated and what is the flip that switches that turns you into this psycho out there? Um, it's the preparation. I do it all year round. I train all year round. It doesn't stop for me. Second, the last game happened. I'm still meal prepping every single day. I'm, you know, doing my rehab routine, my stretching every night. So it's every day for me. Um, you know, he played with Tom Brady, one of the greatest ever. I work with Alex, and I know you work with Alex as well. And, like, it doesn't stop. And he's wow. still, I'm getting four or five massages a week as well with him. And um, just staying dialed all the time because I know if I play 15 years in the league, I'll be 36 when I retire, which is still super young. So for me, I know the window is not huge, and um, I want to fully maximize my career. I want to be a Hall of Fame guy like Gronk one day. I want to be one of the best to ever do it. So um, every day I show up, it's with an intent to get better and separate myself from everybody else. Are you loud in the locker room? Are you, do you, you, know, are you a, a motivating guy, or are you like, I'm going to set the example by what I do, which is 24-7? Yeah, I'm not like a big hoorah guy all the time. I mean, when it's necessary, there's certain people that need to be held accountable. I definitely, you know, I'm that guy. Um, but um, for me, it's about example. Um, every day I show up, I show them, listen, like I'm, I've had a lot of success in my career. And if I can do this every morning, wake up at 6 a.m. in the off seasons, like y'all have no excuse. So that's what I, I try to put pressure on the young guys and even the older guys, like, listen, you're, you've had, even if you've had success and had a great career, like there's always another level you can tap into. Like that's what motivates me every day. I know I can still be a lot better, um, and I just try to show that to my guys. It's like, listen, no matter what money or success or whatever has come your way, like this is the greatest job in the world. Like we get to show up and play football and have a chance to better ourselves every day. So that's what I tell the young guys. Like once you make it to the league, it's not like you made it. It's like this is the start, um, and that's what the, what's been my mentality since I got here. 
Yeah, man, that's a great point. Everything you're saying, man, I love. And it's all true what you're saying, too, how you got to take care of your body every single day. You're getting massages by Alex. It's not like you can get one massage and then you're like, oh, I'm healthy now. You got to do it on a consistent, consistent basis. And you're going to come back stronger than ever because you seem like a guy that you're going to put the work in day in and day out. And I actually have a Max Crosby story of welcome you know, to the oh, Max yeah. Crosby oh, okay. era, actually. It was a little bit before he was well known. It was yeah. when we played you, the Tampa you Bay this? Buccaneers. Oh, yeah. I remember it was COVID this. and Elite. Yeah, COVID, we're yeah. in the Legion Stadium, zero fans at all. And uh, Carl, Carl, the other defense end, kind of blew me up on a play. Uh, and I was kind of mad a little bit. So then <laughs> there was a little wham play where I start outside as a wide receiver. I come in in motion and I kind of tee off on the defense event. And I thought it was you that blew me up. And I was like, all right, I got to pay, pay, pay this guy back. Yeah. So I go and I have a clean shot on you, brother. Like I forgot what that block is called where I come back as a wide receiver. And you're, you're just focusing on the quarterback. So you're not really seeing me. Yeah. And I have a clean shot and I was feeling good. And I went, it was hiked and boom, I put my shoulder down and gave you that clean shot. You didn't even see me coming. And I hit you. I hit I hit Max and I was like, whoa. Usually any other defensive end, I lay him out. I get at least yeah. send him send him about three, four yards. Not Max. And he freaking rang my bell Wait, and Max didn't even see X's. me coming. Yeah. I was like, who is this guy? And then from there on out, I was like, that guy's gonna be a beast after I after we played that game. I was like, I never I didn't know of you before the game, and then after the game, I was like, that guy is gonna make a name for himself. What do you and remember? You are, bro. I appreciate it, brother. Do you remember Absolutely. that? What do you remember? hundred percent. I remember when you know, even going to play. Like, I saw Brady walk in the field before the game, and I'm like, this is crazy, because I was, like, the first guy out there. I'm like, this is wild. You know what I mean? It was my second year in the in, in the league. No fans. It's eerie. No fans. Weird. It's super quiet. And, you know, I seen Brady, and then, obviously, you. You signed with Tampa. Um, and, like, as a kid, like, I grew up. I know it makes you sound like you're old. But, you know, like, as a kid, like, I watched you all play the Steelers and Ravens. Like, that gave me motivation. That's the type of yeah. football I love and, like, grew up on. So just being out there with guys like that early on in my career was like, damn, like, I want to be, like, you know, in that position one day. And he's talking about playing until he's uh, 36 yeah. years old. I'm only 34 years old right now. So. Yeah. Well, D wow. O's the mentalist said that you were going to come back. You're here with Invisalign. Wow. I want to get to this. Yeah. So you're partnered with them. How did you get involved with them? They've been sort of changing smiles around the league. Yeah. Yeah, no doubt. I think they have over 400 guys in the league now. So um, I never had braces growing up, anything like that. Um, and so for me, you know, they came to me with an opportunity, and uh, I want to get my, you know, my smile on point. So, uh, yeah, it was a no-brainer for was me. Was it hard? Was it like, because you, you like consistency, so you just have to be consistent with it, and it works. 100%. I'm a routine guy. I yeah. do everything at the same time, every single day. Um, so, yeah, it just added to my routine. It's a little bit different, but it's all do good. you sleep with the Visalign in? It's like you, need, you have them in 22 day. hours all out right. of 24. I think so you like, take it out to eat and then put it back that's in. The, yeah, all that's right. literally it. Yeah. Dang. Yeah. Do yeah. you have braces? No, no, I never had braces. You, those are your just real beautiful teeth? Yes. yes. Kronk, really? Actually, I got a confession. I actually, oh I grinded all my teeth down, and I kept going to the dentist, and they're like, "You grind your teeth are so grinded down, you should get, uh, what, what's it called, veneers. Yeah. Yes. So then I go in, and then they start cutting me up, you know, shaving down my teeth a little bit. I got, like, about half of my teeth are veneers now, but I didn't really want the veneers. I loved my natural teeth, but they were kind of so <laughs> grinded down just from playing I, football, grinding yeah. my teeth. I love that you felt sleeping. like you had to tell the truth yes, about this right now. I know, because you're, you're bragging about my teeth Well, they're right beautiful. Now. Yes, because they're veneers, and then you can make them nice and white and everything and make them look good. But I did love my natural teeth. I miss them. But the veneers, they're legit, yeah. and they're strong as well. And uh, Visalign, that, that's fantastic, too. But I, I went the veneers way. 400 players getting that. Not a lot of people grew up with braces. That's amazing. I want to get on my bottom teeth. I never had any, any of that. We have O's back. O's the mentalist joining us with Max Crosby, who's here he's with Invisalign. Invisalign. Now, Max, Max do you know O's the mentalist? Curly whites. He's, he's, you got to really watch him. We oh, exchanged me, been... two words backstage. Okay, let's do it. And I said, hometown boy, right? Vegas. Yeah. This is an easy flight Max for you. Max is this skeptical. Is, this he's drive. sus. Oh, yeah, he's reading my Super mind. Bowl. I know. He's like, get out of my head. Get out of my phone. He's like, stay away from me. If I ask you to pick a football player, everyone's been doing that. So I'm switching gears. I'm going to switch gears on you because everything is football. This is Super Bowl. Okay. I want you to imagine that you got a six suite. You're at Allegiant Stadium, okay? And you're probably in there with some guys you play ball with, some celebrities. And suddenly, the key here is I don't want, I don't want you to pick somebody you've met before because then what if I've looked on your social? Somebody walks in the room and you turn around. You cannot believe who just walked in the room. You never met this person. Picked random. Agreed? Yeah. All right. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Max. I want to make sure. This is somebody famous. There is no way anybody here could possibly know, and you've never met this person before. True story? Yes. All right, here we go. Gronk, I don't mean to bump you, but this is where it gets good. I've got 
moving up here. Check this out, Kate. Piece of paper. Okay, yes. Headshot. Imagine this person's face. Eyes, ears, nose. All right, I'm starting with the hair. Max, before you walked in here two minutes ago, you ever spoken a word to me in your life before you got here? Did you know what I was gonna do, any of this? I mean, we had a slight conversation backstage. Oh yeah, yeah, but I mean, before I mean, that. No, you never. Have no idea, you're thinking never. a football player. I'm gonna go here. Do you like this person? What is happening? I don't know this person. You don't know this person. All right, you, I'm, going this there, person. I'm going there, I'm going there, I'm going there. I think you're excited, I'm done, I'm done. I think it's a guy, is it a guy? Yeah. Gronk, he's picturing somebody. You didn't write this, you didn't, nothing. Tell us all, who did you imagine walking into your suite, turn around me and like, can't believe who's in the room with me. Say it, what's this guy's name? Barack Obama. The president, yeah. say hello everybody to Barack. <laughs> oh, Obama! That's insane. Max, how did he do how? that? I don't know. How? I'm I don't know. Dead. Bring it back, man. That's insane. Put that on the fridge. Oh, That's so strange. Show oh. the wife and daughter, that they're gonna be so freaking strange. out. I don't know. Keep That's that. Insane. Oh, oh can you go Keep to that. the can you can you go with me and Gronk later to have some fun in Vegas? <laughs> That's the plan. I think That's we could, I think we could all do very well. Offering me a suitcase full of cash. Yes. yes. Let's do this. Last question for you. Thank yeah. you so much for being here. You're bringing the great energy. Where can we see more of you and what you have coming up? You know, I do a lot of stuff with the NFL. A lot of teams are already itching for next season to do some crazy stuff. Uh, all my tour stuff is on online. Go to my Instagram. It's at okay. OZ the Mentalist. You'll I need see all to know my if my boyfriend lies to me. Can you figure Get me out? in the room. Get me in the room. I'll look. <laughs> He'd be crazy to lie to you, Kay. He'd be crazy. Oz, we appreciate you. Max Crosby with Invisalign, future Hall of Famer. We're getting yeah. there. We're getting healthy. We're making it happen. And Gronk, four-time Super Bowl champion. We've got a press conference coming up. Kick of destiny. He's going to make it, right? Is that your... Ooh. No, I don't know. He might go back to the NFL, but I don't know about the kick of destiny this You think he's going to miss? He's I'm saying gonna I'm going to miss. But if you wow. miss, I'm going to toss blue Gatorade on you. Is that fair, Rob? Uh, that's fair. All right, all right. All right, 31 to 21 Chiefs is what he says. It's the biggest liability we'll, we're going to leave here.